you don't feel like I'm doing too much marketing for you, my business, then you're nearly not marketing enough. Good morning, every. Where can I put you guys? No, that looks dumb. Can I put you guys right here? That looks even more dumb. Anyways, I'm gonna hold it. But good morning, you guys. It is a Monday. It's Monday, September 6th. And um, we are at the gym. It is 9.56. Normally, I would be at the gym at like 7.30, 7.20ish. So we're starting like kind of late today, but it is what it is. But, um... Like I said, I wanted this to be some, I guess, vlog style type of thing. I'm not going to take you guys in the gym because, uh, no. Um, but yeah, um, I do try to go to the gym at least four to five times in a week. And um, people are looking at me. I try to go to the gym at least four or five times a week. And now um, I mainly go because I honestly, I've been going to the gym like on and off for like about me and my sister for about like four years now yeah probably like four or five years maybe longer i don't know but now i'm more so in a mindset of i'm going more so to get me on a schedule um yeah i'm going now for more so of a schedule and not more so for um to lose weight like clearly yes i'm i want to you know get more fit but that's not my main focus now like my main focus is this is going to keep me on track it's going to give me a schedule and it's it's going to give me a healthier lifestyle in a sense that i'm being active at least 35 35 to like an hour every single day so that's where my mindset is at so now like i plan to at least go to the gym or even if i don't go to the gym at least do like a quick 30 minute workout at home like i just need to make sure that i'm active for that day but yeah but i've noticed me waking up earlier like i said i normally wake up around like 6 6 15 um and then i get to the gym at 7 so yeah but today it today was labor day and so, well today was today is labor day and we just had a late start but it's better than late than ever so we're about to go ahead and go in the gym um i'm trying to build healthier habits for myself and one of those things is making sure i'm active every single day so um so if you like are like me and always fluctuate throughout the gym and like sometimes you want to go sometimes you don't want to go um just put in your mindset as in you're doing it for your health not more so for you know losing weight like eventually that's gonna come like the weight is gonna come off as long as you're consistent with working out the weight is gonna come off so that shouldn't be like your main you know um focus so just tell yourself you're going to be healthy and you're going just so you can set a routine for yourself and i promise you guys it won't be as bad like yeah some days i'll feel like mm, i'm not in the mood but honestly as long as you tell yourself those things you're just gonna get up and just do it and i want it to be to the point where this is second nature this is something that I just get up and go. So the more I'm doing it, they say it takes 60 days to build a habit. So I'm trying to do it every single day so I can make this a habit. But I'm about to head in because I'm already late and I'll be back. So it has been many, 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 many hours later. It is, it's the same day, but it is, what time is it? It is 5 p.m. and I didn't talk, I talked to you guys at what, I think it was like 9 or 10 p.m. this morning. So it's been like a long time. And um, I came home, I showered, I ate some food, I um, edited, no I didn't edit the videos. I already edited them last night and I uploaded them. All I had to do was, I had to go ahead and change the, what are those things called? I had to change or make thumbnails for them and fix the, you know, um, description bar and all that extra stuff. And then honestly, after that, I went to sleep because around that time it was around four. No, it wasn't four yet. It was around three. It was around three and I, three, three, three thirty. I went to take a nap and then I woke up at five. 
like I try not to take naps but sometimes um sometimes it's okay for you to take naps of especially i realize especially when you wake up early in the morning like i told you guys i wake up at like six so sometimes it's good to take a nap just to regain all your which i'm calling just make sure your nap isn't too long i try to keep my naps within the hour hour to two hour mark i don't go past two hours because if by then i will not go to sleep that night until like or um at like five six in the morning so i try to just limit my naps but if i can i just take a nap i don't try to be so hard on myself like oh my god you can't take a nap or anything so so now i'm up what i'm doing right now is now these are all the wigs that i have for um, that I did videos with and now I'm about to go sell them because honestly guys like a, like I always tell you guys or if I haven't told you guys um, I don't be wearing the wigs because honestly majority of the time I be in my bonnet and also I don't really want to be wearing other companies hair when I do have my own hair hence why I'm only really wearing my units on my channel um moving forward and not necessarily other companies so i am prepping for the wig sale my mom went ahead and washed these yes i paid her she's not doing free labor but she went ahead and washed these for me because they do take a lot of time and i like for the wigs even though i only wear them for like a day or so i still want them to look you know i still need them to look um to be really clean for you guys when you guys do get them and stuff like that now what i am doing is i'm hanging them up this is actually my wig that i needed her to wash this is one is from my company but um it's i needed um her to wash this so i can go ahead and put some crimps in these whoa these crimps is about to be fire with this wig and they're gonna last longer but what i'm doing right now is hang them up because i leave them on the towel first just to drain as much water as possible and so it doesn't drain so now i'm gonna go ahead and transfer them in the closet um with these like i already did it to two of these and all i do is hang them up in with these little clips if you guys want to know or the exact link to these clips let me know and i'll just link them down below for you guys but that's what i'm doing right now so let me just can you guys see me that is what i'm doing and yes i am in a bonnet not in a bonnet yes i am in a um robe i'm always going to be in a robe probably 95 percent of the time so get used to it so so let me show you guys how they look like like i really love these but this is how they look like like i said um i leave them here to fully dry and after they fully dry i'm just gonna go ahead one by one and i also leave the door open i leave the window door open so you know no smell so it doesn't smell up or anything like that so um so the air could get through i wait until they get dry and then after that I style them and then we can get on with the wig sale. Now I'm not sure if this video is going to go up before the wig sale. We'll see but yeah. So now that's done. Me hanging it up. Now what I am going to do is I'm actually going to finish these two wigs that I got before. Like I offer um, wig maintenance so I just went ahead and cleaned this unit. For this customer so, and then also what i am gonna do is um i'm gonna style it for her and then when it comes to this one um i um now i just have to cut it into a bob this unit was already done in package but um but the customer was saying that she wanted it at, as a bob but then she forgot to tell me she wanted it as a bob so now I'm just going to have to go in and just cut it for her. And after I do that, the unit should be done. And I'm going to repackage both of them up. And then I can start with, oh Jesus, with this big boy. I can start with this because this has, um, I'm going to actually show you guys. But this has some orders in there and also the ready to ship units that will be going on the site. Um, that will be going on the site this friday hopefully you guys i'm really gonna have to like really like get to it so um i'm probably gonna have to do like 
two wigs a day today's monday so it would be nice if i can do two wigs today knock two wigs out so two four two four six eight two four six two four six yeah like if i knock out at least two weeks a day then i should be good but some of them do require for me i'm sorry yeah my mom is so loud but some of the wigs do require for me to color them so that's what really be making the process longer longer so yeah but my goal is at least do two weeks today is monday so i'm gonna try to knock down two weeks the ones that don't require for me to you know style and stuff like that so yeah and before i actually do that I am going to do a somewhat TikTok. I'm gonna see if I can do a TikTok. It's basically gonna be like not a TikTok, but a a reel for Instagram, and it's basically gonna be like a inventory haul type thing. Like I show them the different units that I have for inventory and stuff like that. So um, I seen this other wig maker do it. Ugh, I forgot. Her name if i remember her name i'll put it on here so you guys can actually see but like i like to get inspos from like different wig makers and stuff like that and like what type of reels they're doing especially if it went viral and stuff like that so make sure you guys do that that's a tip that's what i try to do sometimes i spend my time just sitting there and just you know saving reels for me to actually recreate but um let me open this ac because it's hot so i'm gonna go ahead and start and i'll come back when i'm actually doing the reel Yo, my boobs is about to spill out this damn thing. Like, no lie, I need a, a boob job, boob lift, something. Because my boobs be wilding. Anyways, you guys, so I'm about to do the reel. And I went ahead and changed my clothes. I, um... I changed into like I just changed my top and then I have my bleaching working pants on because y'all know how I be like they only gonna see from up here and up and also I'm gonna just fix my hair a little bit like when you're trying to be like the face of your business and stuff like that like little things like the real and stuff you got to take account honestly if I was really up up for it I would really I would actually go ahead and just do my whole makeup, but I'm not in the mood for that. But I still made sure that I look, I'm gonna look decent for the real. And not just look like all crazy and stuff. Like all those things matter. Like you may think people don't look at those little small things, but Oh, I hope they ain't finna see my stomach looking big as fuck. Yo, my stomach looks so big. It's, up, it's fine though, because sis, you working out. You working out trying to get stuff together. Get your life together, girl. That's fine. Look, bitch accidentally made a... <laughs> Don't play. Um, accidentally made a um, boomerang. Where can I put you guys? Because I'm going to go ahead and do the real... Actually, let me put you guys up here. I'm going to spin you guys around. Okay. I'm going to see if I actually... Yo, why it look like my boobs literally is about to bust the fuck open? Okay, so... Can you see this? It look like I'm about to record a video. But, um... I don't need my boobs to be the main attention. So, I'm gonna go back to, to where I seen the reel. Cause like I told you guys, most of the time I save my reels. I save my reels most of the time, so. This is how it looks like. This is how it look like. I hope you guys can see. And that's her name. If you guys want to follow her. Like her, she's very like motivational and stuff like that. But that's what I'm gonna attempt to do. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. If I should do this in sections. When I'm done, I'm gonna come and just show you guys how I look like. Cause 
don't know what I'm doing right now. Okay, you guys. Yo. This why I don't be liking to do reels and I just like to record because they be taking so freaking long. But anyways, I just finished. But what I realized is that I only had two textures. Like, I only had, yeah, I only had body wave in my curly unit, which I didn't know. I thought I had straight hair somewhere in there. But I guess majority of, like, my inventory was, like, body wave that I wanted to bring back. That's crazy because I really thought that I had, I really thought that I had a straight wig in it, but I had to improvise. Let me go ahead and show you guys. Hold on. Let me wait until it goes back so you guys can see like it was a mess, but let me know what y'all think. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. And then, all right. Boom. So this is how she looking like if it will focus. I wish I can make y'all listen to the music but it won't really let me and then i just had to add a weird ass clip that i just found from anywhere um just so it could you know i can show at least three textures and not two so i'm gonna go ahead and just draft this i'm gonna go ahead and draft this if you guys haven't go ahead and follow my instagram follow my instagram we trying to get to 10k by the end of this year but y'all I actually, well, I didn't figure out, but like, yo, like TikTok and Reels be highly like helpful. Like, have you ever realized since you were on like a business profile or like business page that it wouldn't let you download like those really good music and like it would only let you, you know, save it, um, save these lame like audio? Well, I came across this, um, I came across this TikTok, y'all. And basically all it said was, all you had to do was go ahead, go to edit profile, and then in your category, instead of putting any of those other things, put entrepreneur. After you put entrepreneur, which is gonna change your thing to entrepreneur, and then literally anything. Hold on, let me see if I could have some music playing. I don't know who needs to hear this. Like every now, I'm able to save all. Like, some of these I was not able to save before, but like now, yeah, I'm literally able to save every single one. Like, y'all don't know how hype I was when I figured that out. Like, Cause like I was getting annoyed cause like it's like I had to keep using the same Are you going to have frontal wigs soon? Oh, should I start having frontal wigs? <sighs> but anyways, y'all, but yeah, like when I figured that out, I was mad geek, like I was like, now I could do some like action, well I can have like pop it, pop popular popular music and stuff like that because you know honestly the music really has a big role in like when you post your reels and stuff like that like if it's popular most of the time it will probably like trend and stuff like that so that's gonna help me out a lot so now i kind of already took most of the inventory out um kind of took most of the inventory out um i'm gonna go ahead and start um start putting them in different categories so I can know so I can know where what goes what and I'm going to get started on the actual orders first and then I'm going to start on the um why can I not remember then I'm going to start for the ones on the ready to ship unit so that's what I'm about to do good morning you guys it is um it is 10 a.m september 7th just got up well i didn't just get up because i got up like 45 minutes ago but i did not go to the gym today which i'm sad about but for sure tonight i am gonna work out before i go to bed because i want to at least at least work out for at least a good 30 minutes so Either I might work out right now or later tonight for sure. Even though I didn't go to the gym. But yeah, we're back in the bonnet. I'm probably going to be in the bonnet most of the time. 
anyways probably gonna be in a bonnet most of the time but um right now what i'm doing is let me make sure i'm not showing any of my like information like last time so right now um actually no remember when i told you guys that i was trying to find someone to set up my like um email sequence like so i can have like a good sequence for um when people like check out out of my stuff but then like i said i've been having like a lot of abandonment carts but i feel like the one that um the one that shopify has is not really as um aggressive as i needed to be and it, like i don't know how to if you can't even do like follow-ups and stuff like that and i know a lot of people have been saying clavio and like i was telling you guys in the last vlog if you guys watched the last vlog um i was telling you guys that i was gonna look for someone on fiverr to do it um which i kind of found like two or three people which i have them in the back burner if i couldn't do it but um some told me like just try it out to see if you can do it um i just found a, f a couple of videos on youtube and i actually set some up i actually set one up but before i turn you guys around but my issue now is i set it up um i thought that i made it live but it's been i had it set up like literally last week friday last week friday last week friday or thursday now and it still hasn't like i haven't seen any type of you know anybody going through the actual flow so um i don't know if i did something wrong or if it's because that Shopify, I already have Shopify set up with the abandonment cart. Maybe that's why it doesn't want to, um, like, you know, go ahead and do it. But I am actually going to go ahead and contact support just so they could let me know if I did something wrong. If I have to shut off the one on Shopify first. Um, or like I said, or if I just set it up wrong. So I'm going to just contact them. But before I contact them, I really want to show you guys, like, yeah. I work so hard so this is it like it's saying that it's act can it focus it's saying that it's active but it's saying that it's active but it's just I haven't seen anybody go through the freaking flow so like what does that mean so um this is basically a, a, a the abandonment cart flow that I created you guys like I did my thing so cute honestly I can do anything that I put my mind to. So basically I created a flow and the the trigger is whenever someone um, starts a checkout, they will receive this whole flow. Um, I'm still playing around with like the hours and stuff like that. I'm not sure if I want to be like too, too aggressive. So I'm going to try this time frame for right now, which is one hour, 20 hours and one day so that's what i have so far i mean obviously i can add more but that's what i have so far um let me show you guys one of my emails that i created like the content that i created for it let me show you guys a preview like y'all i am so proud of myself this is how it looks like when you get it through the email this is how it's gonna look like like you guys i did all this by myself like i did the this banner like you left something behind I um, redid my header right here and I even did the footer I did the footer with the um I wanted to make sure that I tell them since my wigs are a little bit on the higher end I want to make sure I let them know that I have you know sizzle 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 um and shop pay available to them um just in case if that was a factor like this is so cute like and then basically in the middle like i know it looks blank but in the middle this is where the um let me try to go back can i go back okay so let me do edit content so as you guys can see in the middle where it says item product this is where the product is going to pop up the product that they had in their cart is just going to pop up right here so it's not just going to be these two pictures and then i also have like you know the little don't don't worry we saved your items in your cart blah 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 rush bag blah 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 and this is just a reminder this one is the reminder let me save this this is the reminder just letting them know that they did receive something behind let me put that down 
you guys and i did those headers actually through canva um i just had to play around with it i mean i know they're not perfect i'm probably gonna have to end up you know like re-editing it re-edit them but so far like it looks decent um and then after they receive the after they receive the reminder, this is where I'm going to give them the small discount, which is going to be $15 off. Like, I know this is not too, too much, but that's still a good amount of discount for, like, a wig. Like, I don't want to be, like, giving away, like, $50 or, like, 10% off for a $400 wig. That's cutting into my profit margin. So, I kind of had to be smart with it. I might change it down the road, but for right now, I'm trying off. I'm trying $15 off, which is the first small discount they're going to get after four hours. And then let me show you guys how this one looks like. This one, this is how it looks. Uh, can it go down? Like, yeah, I'm so hyped. Like, I can't believe I did this by myself. Like, that's just crazy to me. Well, then again, like, I know I can do whatever I put my mind to. So, this is the second email they would get if they didn't follow through with the first one and it says add this unit to your wig collection and i said our wigs is an investment you will be confident in every day and honestly you guys to be honest with y'all no shade no tea um some of these that i'm showing you guys um some of the ideas i actually got it from um the jbw like cart reminder thing that i just seen them they sent me and i'm just like ooh, like I mean, like, I didn't, like, you know, take their words verbatim because theirs had to do with watches. But it basically, like, gave me ideas to exactly, like, what pictures, how to put the pictures, and how to put the words and stuff like that. So, um, it's good to look at other, like, you know, big brands and see how exactly what they use. So, um, you can just get an idea of how you want yours to go. Like I said, I know this is probably not even 100%, but... Um, I can later on, you know, edit it as need to, but this is how it looks like. It's going to just tell you, you need a, the wig in your collection. And then it's going to say, um, use a discount code, say 15, say 15. And I already set up these discount codes in my Shopify. Um, in Clavio, you can set up, you know, your own, ooh, excuse me, you can set up your own, um, discount codes on there but i seen a video i'm pretty sure if i'm if i really sat there i can do it but it's not that deep i just said it through shopify for right now and then i just added the word right here and of course this is where the product is going to pop up again and then i also left the same header at the bottom with my you know social media at the bottom then let me save this and get out and then this is going to be the last email where it doesn't have to be the last email, but this is, yeah, I'm sorry. My little sister's in the background. Um, um, this is the email they're going to get the day after they got the small discount, which is going to be a big discount, which is going to be 5% off. Now I know it might sound a little crazy. Like why would I do $15 off? And then now I'm doing 5% when you think about it. I mean, I hope this is how customers think. Let me know if I'm wrong or not. Um, 5% is more than $15 off 5% out of $400 is more than $15 off. I believe. Yeah, I believe it's more. So I'm, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think it is. So, um, this is 5%. Again, you guys got to be really smart and just play around to see what works right now. That's what I'm going to use because, um, like I said, I don't want to cut in too much into my profit margin. So you want to make sure you just keep that in mind. Let me just show you guys the last one. Let me edit it. And then this one is pretty simple. This one is pretty simple and it... And this is how it looks like. And I said, your unit, your unit is ready to come home. And then I just have a picture of some of my wigs. Yeah, I did all this on Canva. Like, if you don't have Canva and you're a business owner, like, what is you doing? And then I wanted to keep this pretty um, sweet and simple because I wanted to be more so about the, you know, discount and stuff like that. So I put basically almost the same thing but i put five percent off your entire order um say five as a discount code and also in the bottom it'll have the product and then also i ended off with my um socials and stuff like that so 
that's about it like i said you guys i'm about to contact um save content done okay so like i said i'm trying to contact i'm gonna try to contact clavio 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 because like i said i had it up for like a few days now and it's just not it's still saying zero percent and i've and i looked through my shopify i've had um a few like probably like three three or four why does it look so yellow i had like three three already like abandonment carts throughout this weekend so i don't understand why i wouldn't have any type of data yet so like i said i'm gonna just go ahead and try to contact them to see if i did anything wrong or if i have to change something um um and like i said this isn't even set in stone if anything i can just go um with one of the people that i found on that i found on fiverr and i can have them like you know just touch it up to see what works and stuff like that so with these you can make your flow longer if you want to you can make it shorter like i said for right now i just want it why do i keep saying like i said um i want to keep it this short just so i can see and then i can change little things here and there just so i can you know control to see what what actually works and what doesn't work but y'all i really did not know i was able to do this save and edit See, I hate things that just have to chat. Like, why can I not call you? But yeah, I'm gonna come back when I actually have it figured out to see what the problem is. And yeah. That perfect sense. I'm trying to make it easy for him. I'm giving him the notes. <laughs> I'm giving him the notes as you speak, bro. We gotta, we gotta feed this community, man. Cause sometimes we gotta understand that people need so much guidance until they don't. You dig know what I'm saying? We trying to be the catalyst to that thought, right? Because sometimes, look, bad coaching is literally making them depend on us. What we trying to do is make y'all form some self-motivation, some self-dependency. But we got to give y'all the seeds. These seeds need to be planted in y'all brain and they all need to run with it, right? So he's giving y'all an actual floor plan of what you can do right now and utilize it to your best advantage. You don't have to do the exact plan, but you can do using the catalyst of what he's saying and create your own swag, right? It's going to, there's never going to be two people in the same market because you come as an individual. You have your own network, your own customer service, your own way you deliver a message. You got your own over delivery. So Brian is giving you the exact floor plan of what he's done to be able to scale up to make it 80K a month. If you do it, you might be able to mix what you learn from me, what you learn from him, what you learn from anybody else I bring on here and create a new whole entire floor plan to create you even more income than us. You got to learn from our mistakes and that's what you guys are getting right here. We learn mistakes so where you can get in the game and just flood. So now he's telling y'all right now, man, I used to, it used to be slow for me when I was in this space, but I learned how to market and retarget my customers. Yo, I used to be slow for a little bit, but I started going to go to Fiverr to get them to create a floor platform. Y'all been showing them that, and that right there has been creating income for me because when they see it, they immediately want to dive in, right? So that's what you guys got to understand. Y'all got to be able to lock in, take what y'all are hearing, and go execute. Don't just be a, a, a watcher. Don't just watch me and Brian go out here and eat and make money. Y'all got to be You're an executor. You see know what I'm saying? So I even wrote down the notes he was saying. I was trying to break it down play by play. So right here, I got locked on the screen. I got Fiverr. He told you, yo, y'all, who y'all can go get anything created. Flyers, you can get flyers created you can get any type of um, graphic design you can get your own brand put it on mass amounts of art you can get like the floor plan like you said and everything so you should check out these websites where you can literally help build your brand overnight so fiverr that's a great one get customer information you want to make sure you take that information take it down and then retarget those customers the hardest thing to get is a new customer the hardest thing to get is a new customer. So if you already got an old customer, why not retarget someone who's already seen your customer service, seen your business model, seen how you do things, and they want to use that again. Retarget those same customers, right? And then well, he gave you an example of who to use to schedule and keep those. Use Colony, right? And he told you how to get a, a tech service. So I told you guys, you can use community. You can use mobile text alerts. Different type of campaigns where you can run and retarget customers using their, their phone numbers. A lot of us don't even check our email, right? So if we take your emails, they might see them, they might not see them. We want to get any leads we can, but we know everybody checked their text messages. So let's do text message marketing. Why are we playing with our potential? We know what we got to do. If you're not in line, we're going to go with the next person. So if somebody doesn't know what you're doing, if they're not constantly receiving targeting and marketing and advertising from you, they will forget about you. Don't think that you are doing too much marketing. If there's never too much marketing. If you don't feel like I'm doing too much marketing for you, my business, then you're nearly not marketing enough. 
because you have to be in present mind when someone does need your services. The only reason they're not responding to your ads when you post it is because they don't need it yet. When they need it, they're going to be like, oh, bet, yeah, you know, I know Brian got the event space. I want to have a wedding, man. I'm trying to have an event. Oh, you know what? I want to have a All right. Yeah, let me put this oh, down. But yeah, it's a live that I'm watching. Um, if you guys don't watch like the um, if you guys don't watch the social proof podcast, I would really like if you need help with like motivation and stuff like that. I would really like you know say look into like I even told my sister like to put her on and stuff like that. Um, and what basically what it is is because I'm really been getting into like podcasts and stuff like that. But like I like the ones that. Um, it's like business related like he brings different like people on his platform oh, this lighting is ugh. um but yeah like he brings different people on his like on the on their platform and they basically have social proof about whatever they're doing like he basically brings these people that basically have social proof of whatever they're doing and they can teach you exactly how to do it and they're just like i watch damn near almost all the episodes and stuff like that and most of them that i do um watch and i really connect with i just follow them on instagram but even though they're not doing what like i'm doing because like i'm in the hair business they're like in on like car rentals and stuff like that like but i like the fact that when they talk they give you motivation and stuff like that so um yeah so like before i start my morning yeah i started this shit off so wrong um i gotta get used to this if i'm gonna if this is considered vlogging um today's wednesday Good morning, you guys. Today's Wednesday, September 8th, and it is 10 a.m. It is 10 a.m., and I already went to the gym, showered, and now I am ready to start working so I can catch the post office early today because I'm always, like, trying to catch the post office. But, um, but yeah, that's exactly what I'm about to do right now. Um, I actually just got... Message me. Ooh, my inventory is coming today i actually just got my um oh let me make sure i don't put my email not my email my house thing i got i just got my own um, thing and i'm guessing this is the credit card because like i told you guys like a few no la the last vlog um i told you guys that i went to the bank to get a business credit card so i can start building my business credit why they give me so much paper but yeah i got qualified for 8500 is this where the card is let me make sure i don't show y'all nothing please business credit cards and all that extra stuff and um and honestly if you're able to get a business credit card i would highly suggest you go ahead and get one and also with this credit card they were saying that you can get like a lot of cash back since i buy a lot of inventory i'm mad because i already spent like two thousand dollars worth of inventory this month and it's only the eighth i already spent like two thousand and i could have got hella cash back on this but it just came so from now on um whatever that i use like for inventory supplies whatever it may be i'm using it on the credit card like even if i have he was saying like even if you have money read readily available he said just use the credit card because it's basically going to help you in the long run and then at the end of the month just make sure you just pay it back well that's how i'm going to do it at the end of the month i just i will pay everything back and then like you know start new and stuff like that so yeah and you also get cash back like i already spend hella money on inventory and whatever so whatever i spend money on i'm gonna get money back so why not get some money back for the money that i'm already spending you get what i'm saying and i'll be a little bit more organized this year well at least half the year for when i have to do taxes and stuff like that there's a lot of benefits to like business credit cards and stuff like that but um that's just a few but i can't wait till i start using this and stuff like that so yeah i'm actually gonna start placing my next my next wig order I'm, i might just pay, place my next wig order on that but yeah you guys but that's what we have going on today is i'm gonna finish these well I, i'm gonna finish this one more wig and then i have four more that i'm gonna have to do and then i have two more that's coming today i don't know i'm gonna try to at least get knock out three of them 
Yeah, I'm going to try to at least knock out three today. If not, at least finish two and color the one so I can be ready to um do it tomorrow. Because on Friday is when the ready to ship units come out. But tomorrow I just want to be able to, you know, do like some promo. um, Which is basically I want to wear the wigs and just show them the different hair t styles and how it's how it looks like on a human head because i feel like most um people now like when they like when it's on your head i mean yeah the mannequin is realistic but sometimes you just want to see the wig on like you know normal people and stuff like that so that's exactly what i'm gonna do so i want to do that by tomorrow so i need to finish these wigs like asap um but yeah so that's what we have going on today um since it's only 10 hours i have a good amount of time for me to you know get my get a cute amount of things done and i'm not sure where i left off this vlog but i know that i was trying to um set up i know i was trying to fix my uh clavio the email marketing um and y'all yeah, i still did not fix it like i know i showed you guys that i was on the chat but basically they were saying that i can't even speak to a live person i can only talk to the automated um you know chat i can't talk to a live person because i'm not paying for it but i'm like i don't want to pay for it yet because i don't have that much email subscribers yet so i feel like i should at least see how it works i mean i know it works but like i want to make sure that you know it's what something that i want to invest money in every single month for me to be paying but they basically saying if you're not paying for a plan if you have the free plan you can't talk to a live agent and i feel like that's kind of like I mean, I understand, but that's still kind of messed up because what if um, there was one issue that I had and I have a free plan and I was thinking about changing into like, you know, into upgrading into paying a plan and now I can't even ask that question that turned me off and now they just lost a customer. I don't know. That's just weird to me. I feel like you should at least still be able to talk to a customer. Well, they said that I just emailed uh, the question to them, which I really don't like because emails take so long and i feel like it's a little bit more easier when you're able to talk to the person um but after i finish the three weeks today i'm for sure going to revisit i'm for sure gonna revisit trying to um set that up again because that's really important that's something i really want to look well that's really something that i want to have set up and ready um because this is something that i know will be beneficial to me like in the long run and y'all like i'm mad excited about um black friday like i know we're we're still like two months is it two months september october november actually a month uh two months we're like two months away but still like you know you gotta plan early but um fuck i forgot what i was gonna say but yeah like i got some really good ideas like the closer we get to it the more i'm gonna you know get into it and like figure out exactly what i'm gonna do and i'm gonna be telling you guys a little bit more what i'm gonna do and stuff like that um which i'm still like processing in my head but like i have some good ideas like make sure you guys watch youtube because just put um what i did was google on youtube and if i remember the exact video that i watched i'll link it um or just remind me and i'll put it somewhere in there so you guys can actually go watch it so you guys can get some ideas also but just put um black friday marketing ideas and a lot of videos are gonna pop up and you guys can you know take a little bit from each different video that you watch but that's exactly what i'm gonna do but all i know is i'm really excited like y'all i am helping like i'm gonna make ten thousand black friday like i need to make black friday like there's no ands ifs or buts i'm i'm gonna make the the 10k if not more on black friday anyways but yeah so i'm gonna start working enough rambling i'm gonna actually start working uh the the, the should i yeah i'm gonna start working and i'm gonna come back when i'm gonna start going to the post office <music>
Guess who reached 20,000 subscribers? Let me turn this shit all the way down before I get demonetized. This song hits. Um, but guess who reached 20,000 <laughs> on YouTube? Yeah, I was just on. Some told me like check your um check your thing and be. Bitch, like that just made my day. Like, don't play with her. Don't play with her. Cause 100K is very much given. Like, it's given very much soon. Like, it might not, um, oh shit, the light is green. Hopefully this camera stay. Oh my God, okay, 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 okay. Let's see, oh my God, get up, get up. Oh, this nigga behind me probably like, why this bitch going so slow? The ghetto. Don't try to vlog and drive. Not you trying to speed past me, nigga. I'm turning. Anyways, oh my god, now my camera changing. I'm dead. Okay, come back. Come back. Oh my god. Okay, let me let me get to where I need to go first. We're home, you guys. So, oh. all right, you guys. So it's been many, 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 many days later. Why is this lopsided? It's been many days later, honestly. Um, I just been working, trying to finish these weeks. Today is the tenth, so that's when I actually have to, you know, that's when I have to upload the ready to ship unit. So far, I have three done but um i still have one more which i have to curl and stuff like that but um before i actually you know start um posting them on the website i want to just create some content for it um i went ahead and just took some pictures of her i took some pictures of her this is my sierra unit i just took pictures of her so now i'm actually gonna just um get like a video a short video with me actually on well with me actually wearing the the wig and stuff like that so people can actually see and also i'm able to have content so i can put this video in like a reel and stuff like that and then it also has adjustable bands inside and it also has combs like you guys my wigs come exactly like this like this um like it literally comes fully it comes fully customized like everything is literally done for you and honestly if you really wanted to oh my god it's the fact that i gotta go lower but if you really wanted to um um really not do anything if you guys would like the lace to be cut all you have to do is just message me or email me or message me on instagram with your order number and just let me know that you want the lace cut and honestly i would be able to damn too high and i'd be able to you know cut the lace for you guys so when you guys do get your unit literally all you would have to do yes i know the lace is white because all my laces are transparent and that's just for um because it works for lighter skin tones and it works for you know darker skin tones and stuff like that so in our brown skin in general so um all you would have to do is literally put some your foundation powder whatever you use on your face um foundation preferably foundation powder um you just put that underneath the lace and honestly it would be ready to go so um but this is how she looks like she is so cute this is the sierra unit this is the 26 inch i'm not sure when i'm gonna upload this video she might might or might not be in stock still but i do upload ready to ship units every two weeks so um maybe when you do look there'll probably be other units maybe she'll be back on there but this is like i said this is my sierra unit i freaking love her and i'm actually gonna take a quick few um like i said pictures of me wearing this unit so i can have content and then i'm gonna go ahead and do it to the other three units all right you guys so this is my Marilyn unit she's like giving very much corporate corporate baddie she's coming to serve the girls but this is my maryland unit like i really love this unit it's so simple but also it's also like really chic let me go ahead and try it on so i can show you guys how she looks like 
Let me just fix her up a little bit. But this is how she looks like. Like she's really simple, but then again, she's really cute. Like she gets the job done. She really gets the job done. Like I really love this union, especially like the way the curls be like. Don't play with her. Period. That's how she looked like. I'm gonna go ahead and do a video on her. 